Hello and welcome to today's tutorial about creating a brochure on Google Slides. First, you need to have Google Drive open to access the Slides feature. The reason why we use Slides is because it's a little bit more dynamic with creativity. So just simply go to New, Google Slides, and the Slides opens for you in a new tab. Great, there we go. Personally, I like to be a little organized and I like to have my title changed the moment that I log in so I know uh, exactly what project I'm working with. And I, I typically don't like to wait for that. So I'm going to go in and click. And what we want you to do is actually name it your city or state that you have been working on. In this case, I'm going to name it my city. There we go. Okay, let's talk about the page setup. Right now, currently, uh, the Google Slides is set up to be seen on a screen because that's usually what you use Google Slides for as a presentation. We don't need the themes open. So we need to actually make it so it could become a printable document. And to do that, we go to File, Page Setup. And as you see here, it's actually set up for widescreen, which is typically a screen that a projector would be projecting on or a computer monitor. But we need to change it to custom. So do you see how I, I clicked on that? And in the drop down menu, I'm going to select, select custom. And the size of a sheet of paper is eight and a half by 11. But when it's horizontal or on its side, it's 11 by 8.5. So you need to change that to 11 by 8.5 inches. Click OK. We don't need the title. We can actually get rid of the title. Um, so we can actually just get rid of the title. If you just click in the title and press either backspace or delete, you'll notice that it doesn't go anywhere. What you have to do is look um, around for the cross arrows, and then that will select the outer side, and that will, in terms, in return, allow you to delete the box. So again, I'm just going to click on this outer edge and press, depending, I'm using a Chromebook right now, so I'm pressing backspace, or you could hit delete if you're working on a computer. Okay, great. Now we have our working space and we're going to set up our template. A brochure is typically divided into three sections with a title, information on contact information, and like eye grabbing information here. So we need to set it up in three panes. To do that, you're going to go to the shapes menu, scroll to shapes. You can either select the regular rectangle or the rounded edge rectangle. For this case, I am going to actually choose the rounded edge rectangle. And you are just going to eyeball a little third of a page just like this. You don't want to make it too thick. You don't want to make it too thin. Because you, what you want is actually spaces in between, nice even space between each of the triangles. Okay, so now we're going to duplicate them. You can either right click, copy and paste, or I like the, the shortcut keys. Control C, Control V, Control V one more time. Slide that over. You're going to notice a red line that shows up. It's letting you know that you're aligning correctly in the center. And I'm going to show you a quick trick on how to make sure that they're distributed evenly. What you want to do is hold down the shift key and select your for your first rectangle hold down the shift key to select your second rectangle and then again hold down the shift key to select your third rectangle at this point you can let go of the shift key right click distribute we want to distribute horizontally Okay, as you see, well, I eyeballed it pretty well. I'm going to right click again. I'm just going to make sure that they are vertically aligned in the middle of each other. So let me show you what that looks like if they weren't aligned correctly, because I don't know how I pulled that one off, but I managed to do that perfectly. Okay, so 
I'm going to use this as my guide. I like where my first one is located. I'm going to hit the shift, hold down the shift key, select the second re rectangle, continue with the shift key, select the third, right click, distribute horizontally. There we go. That moves over. And now I'm going to right click again and vertically I want them aligned either top or middle. They're exactly the same size. So that doesn't matter there. Okay, great. So now we have this nice little template that we are going to be working with. And what we can do now is actually duplicate this. So we have this template for the inside and for the outside. So on the left hand side in the slides pane, we just simply right click and go down to duplicate slide. And here we go. We have our template nice and easy set up ready for us to begin the design work of our brochure.